attend there hasn't been a whole lot of snow on the ground to snowmobile this winter but that might change for some people tonight and while it can be a fun winter sport the Iowa DNR is reminding Iowans to take necessary safety precautions KWWL's Vinnie Lowry is now live in Waterloo and has what you need to know before you get on the trails Vinnie The rules and regulations are similar to operating a motor vehicle in Iowa. If not properly followed, f followed you, pr you will get fined and possibly injured trying to enjoy the winter landscape. A measurable amount of snow before they head onto the trail, so we want at least one inch of snow. The overnight snow might be an ominous sign for some, but can be promising for others looking to shred the trails. Getting the appropriate equipment and documentation ensures a safe ride. Iowa Conservation Officer Dakota Drish says one of the most common violations is speeding. Are people driving excessively fast, operating those snowmobiles excessively fast, whether they're in the road ditch or um, on the traveled portion of the roadway? The speed limits do still apply. Registering your snowmobile and staying sober while operating are beginning steps. The registration fees allow growth for the winter sport that those registration and user permit fees take care of, they maintain, and then the snowmobile clubs have equipment and snow groomers to maintain those designated trails. Aaron Doan, owner of Gary's Ski-Doo and Can-Am in Independence, is an avid rider of snowmobiles. Doan says wearing a helmet and the protective tech vest should be a rule of thumb. Like dirt bike type vests, stuff like that, you know, just protective layer underneath in case you bang the handlebars or bang a tree or they've got shoulder pads that go in them. Those 12 to 17 can actually operate a snowmobile, but they must have a snowmobile education certificate, and if they are interested to get that certificate, they can certainly head on the Iowa DNR's website to go on to an online education class. And if you do have any questions uh, clarifying for snowmobile safety, you can certainly call your, con your county's conservation officer. Live in Waterloo, Vinnie Lowry, News 7, KWWL. All right, Vinny, thank you very much. Now, if you're interested in snowmobiling, you can head to the Iowa State Snowmobiling Association to find a club near you, and their contact information can be found under this story on our website.